at Open House. Uh, this is a documentary proving that you can be off-grid and energy independent. You have everything you need in uh, North America off of dead trees. Hello! Welcome to the Energy Shack Open House where we have uh, um, co-generation, home co-generation factory going here. And uh, we're going to show you the thing. So come on in. So what we have here is a co-generation device that uh, takes wood and you wood in, in paper and household refuge. And then we create steam with the wood heat energy and then from there we'll be making electricity and then the heat from after the electricity production co-generates and heats the garage which is uh, like an off-grid factory. We uh, machine and produce things from off-grid energy. So we'll show you the next step in a few minutes. Yeah, we're uh, building up a head of steam now off of this wood. It's all uh, dead trees. No live trees were used. And uh, we're building up a head of steam here and we're going to be uh, running some electrical tools and, and some lights, making some electricity and uh, heating up the garage. So we are going to be doing cogeneration where we get electricity and heat in a few moments now. Good. Okay, on this part of the open house we're going to show you the electrical generation system. So we showed you the firebox and then above the firebox is steam pressure vessels which uh, have been tested at 600 pounds and we only run up to 150 and for hobby steam stuff that's exempt from uh, steam boiler uh, inspections so it is legal I checked on the legality of it and I have two engines going right now. This here one I built and that is a, a turbine. It has like it's both Pelton and Tesla a combined cycle that I whatever invented or designed myself. I don't uh, know what you want to call it but it's, it seems very efficient because I've made three or four different turbines before and they really didn't get as much energy as this does for the amount of steam. And it's cooked up to a, it says 2.5 uh, horsepower permanent magnet motor. And that is my main generator and that's the one that I'll use to charge these batteries up and run off the inverter to uh, run the shop to do my uh, off-grid manufacturing. And at other times during this, the design of this project, I had an idea that a vane motor would work for steam and I had terrible problems with it, it would freeze up and then I finally did a little machining on it and this here um, is like something like a five or something horsepower this little motor. If you know anything about air wrenches and stuff in a shop where brrr, brrr, and those big impact wrenches you can see they're not, the motor isn't even as big as this, so that is really a pretty good honker motor. And it, it, it likes the steam, you'll see in a little while. And it's hooked up to a, a bigger, this is a 180 volt DC permanent magnet motor. It's uh, rated at two horsepower, which it seems funny that this is rated at two. The, the, the way they rate things, it doesn't you know, make a lot of sense. But this thing, as you'll see, really puts out quite a bit of electricity with not that much steam and uh, I think you'll you'll like it so uh, we're waiting until we get ahead of steam here let's see uh, what we're at right now what this uh, pressure is at we are at about 55 to 60 pounds so we're gonna take a little break and we'll be right back with you on the next part of this episode of the open house the, this is the energy shack is what I call it now and this thing the boiler, I call it the energy bootlegger, and uh, the project is finally coming together, and uh, I think other off-grid people around the world might 
be able to make use of this technology and maybe we can help them out with it. Looks like oak. Looks like uh, electricity and heat for my off-grid manufacturing shop to me. Yeah, besides producing all energy and heat a rural family needs, the Energy Shack doubles as a sauna. It's, it's, uh, it's in the single digits Fahrenheit out there, so come on in and warm up. Take a sauna by myself When it's 24 below outside If you it higher than hell Take a sauna by myself Okay, now we're going to show you the steam boiler tank water fill injector valve in operation. So it's a little tricky when you turn it on, but um, you have the the other valves are on, and then you give it just a little bit of, of uh, slowly get it going, and then it sucks up the water. There, there, then it's it. And now, if you look at this jug here, if you can zoom in on there, that's sucking water into a boiler while it's under pressure. There's like close to 100 pounds of pressure in that, and this uses the Venturi principle and makes a velocity with using the steam pressure in water and it sucks water back into your boiler so you can keep this thing running and you don't run out of water and that's a very useful thing to have if you're going to have a home cogeneration electricity and heat panel. As I'm designing this it's a little rugged at times but uh, it can be all automated and that's what rural people are going to have in the future. You're not going to be hooked up to the power company when you're way out in the middle of the woods in Canada or some rural places in the United States. You'll be able to have all the energy and heat you need from dead trees. And that's the idea. It's not going to be the whole energy mix of our alternative energy and getting away from fossil fuels, but it it, it is. Using wood is a legitimate, legitimate part of the energy mix that we need in the future to get ourselves weaned off of fossil fuel. Yeah, here we're going to show you the uh, batteries. The level of charge right now is 23.38 volts to show that after we run the steam generator and while we're running we're going to look at the voltage there that's coming out so that you know it kind of has proof of charging and we can figure out how many watts are going into the batteries or, or whatever while we're working on it. So that's just to show what the um, voltage in the batteries is right now before we start the generator. Okay. We're going to charge it up because we got a full head of steam here now and we're going to fire it up and show you that that voltage is going to go up meaning that the wood is made into steam and the that is made with the turbine to turn the generator and uh, we're um, making our off-grid electricity. It takes a little while to wind up, but it does. It's probably starting to wind now. Oh yeah. Okay, now you can see the meter. We're going up a few tenths of an amp on the meter. So that's putting batteries in, putting juice back into those batteries. And 
um, it's charging and it'll keep charging as long as we keep the steam going and keep the wood going that'll that'll run your place and that, that will uh, uh, run my manufacturing off-grid manufacturing shop you just keep that thing charging and keep it running and uh, that's what the deal is about it's uh, taking dead trees and turning them into energy that you can utilize for your living space and for your hot water heat and for your house heat and your electricity to be totally off grid. That's, that's what's doing it and it's, it's even going up now and you can see that as, uh, as it charges the uh, uh, bolts are going up so that's adding voltage to them batteries there's no doubt about it. I think we're going to try one time now where maybe we can show you uh, the amps. All right, uh, now we're going to check out this vane motor and see what that does with the little steam behind it. Okay, by the way, this electricity that's running out, it is straight, coming straight from the steam to the generator to these bulbs. There's no batteries or no inverter or anything. It just like, it's just like straight electricity. I'm governing it by hand. Anyway, you get the idea, there you go. You got an off-grid system running right, right here. Co-generation. As we're doing this, too, I'd like you to know that we're going to go into the next step of it, and we're going to go into the garage, and we'll see that uh, uh, the heat, after making the electricity, is heating up the garage. Yeah, so uh, we showed you the fire getting started up, and that steam is in cogeneration charges the batteries, and uh, we're gonna manufacture off grid. So this is now we're gonna begin manufacturing here. A lot of times I'll stop, but I think. I think, uh, I think it'll make it all the way without busting a drill. If it does, we'll just have to deal with it. Yeah, so this is running off of uh, the batteries that were charged by a, a steam engine by wood. So, you preppers, you gotta be envying this. We are manufacturing off-grid. Uh, that is a, a splicer. That's part of the manufacturing of a wire splicer that is used in the uh, electrical industry. So, there we go. We got uh, off-grid manufacturing happening right here in Sawyer County in Hayward, Wisconsin. In Smith Lake. Right. Now we're on to the next step of the manufacturing process of, of this uh, splicer. Alright, I'm going to weld a little bit um, with 
batteries that were charged by steam. I'm going to try and weld this on to here right now. Manufacturing off grid. There you go. Well, that sure puts out the heat. Kenny, you still owe me for those radiators. Yeah, you're right, Paul. Thank you. I'll take care of you. Thanks again.